In the last couple of days, there was a pretty serious hack on the Wormhole Crypto Bridge. The hacker was able to create $320 million worth of Ethereum and seize them for himself. In this video, we will try to dive deeper into the details of this breach. Wormhole Crypto is a bridge between two blockchains. A bridge is a technology that allows the transfer of funds between two closed networks. Specifically speaking, Wormhole Crypto is a bridge between Ethereum and Solana. Since most bridges today are not fully decentralized, these systems do not enjoy the inherent security of blockchains and tend to be exploited too often than what is accepted. A couple of days ago, a very suspicious transaction appeared on Ethereum where 80,000 Ether worth around $220 million were sent from the Wormhole Bridge contract to an address, later to be tagged as the Wormhole Network Exploiter. There is not much we can understand from this pretty simple transfer, so we need to take a look at the other side of the bridge and investigate Solana. On SolScan, which is Solana's chain scanner, if we search for the Wormhole Smart Contract address and jump to one of its transactions around the same time, we will see a mint operation of 120,000 Ether on Solana. This is a very odd behavior since it's not natural for a bridge to invent such a large amount of money out of thin air. Notice the big number has 8 more additional zeros, since on Solana there are 8 decimals to the equivalent of Ether. If we explore a few transactions before, we will see there was a mint of 0.1 ETH by the same address. In order to understand this detail, we need to jump back to Ethereum. On the attacker's transactions page, if we look back on his first few transactions, we can see there were 4 transactions at the wormhole bridge. If we explore the first one, we can see that the attacker transferred 0.1 ETH from the bridge. Checking back on the logs, we can see that it was actually a deposit. Hmm, now, where have we seen this number before? Looking back on his net set of transactions, we will see that these three are opposite transfers from the Wormhole Bridge Smart Contract back to the attacker. If we add them up, we get 10,000, 80,000, and 3.7,000. All in all, it's 93.7,000 Ether, which is around $250 million. In order to understand how so much money suddenly appeared out of nowhere, we need to dive a bit to the code which is written in Rust. Don't worry if you don't know Rust, bear with me, you'll understand everything. In case you didn't know, smart contracts on Solana are written in the Rust programming language. The transaction that created ETH on Solana were triggered in a function called complete wrapped. If you look closely, you can see that one of its parameters is a message, which is signed by the guardians of this bridge. The guardians are a set of distributed nodes which monitor state on several blockchains. These messages basically tell what the bridge should do, and in our case, create money. Solana works in such a way that some parameters are smart contract themselves. Hence, if we look at the code of one of these messages, we'll get to a function called verify signature, which unsurprisingly checks if the message is valid. Inside this function, there are a few logic checks on the message. If we follow the code that builds these checks, we'll stumble upon a built-in function of the Rust programming language called load instruction at. Bear with me, here comes the fun part. If we check the code behind this small function, surprise surprise, this function is deprecated. Bruh. Deprecation of a function means marking older code as no longer useful, usually because it might have some bugs and has been superseded by newer and better code. Deprecated code is not immediately removed from the codebase because doing so may cause regression errors. So to cut to the chase, a different address was used in the older code, which if you read the deprecation warning, it literally states that it's unsafe because the sysvar accounts address is not checked and you should use the newer function. The hacker essentially faked a different address there since he noticed there is no proper check on it and managed to fool the system into believing a message from a guardian came and ordered the bridge to invent money out of thin air. This little detail caused a loss of over $280 million and potentially $326 million which, as far as I know, the hacker didn't claim the difference. The devil is in the details, am I right? To give credit where credit's due, the first one to debug the solar ordeal were Sam CZ Sun and Smart Contracts. I will link to the Twitter accounts in the description below. Hope this video was insightful and educational to you. If you're still here, don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel. Thank you and see you soon.